What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I do appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the 1990 Volkswagen Cabriolet. We are going to be installing the new water pump, the new hoses, the new timing belt, the new belt protectors, everything like that. As always, without starting another video, huge shout out to the boys in Baited Mob. I am on the Baited Mob team. Huge shout out for the merch. I appreciate you guys. I will leave the at in the description below, but let's get today started. I have been obsessed with strawberry last days. Oh, look at alfalfa. But I've been obsessed with these lately. Um, so the car's on the jack stands now. The car is jacked up. Um, I did notice that these wheels that the Cabrillo came with are extremely, extremely dirty. Um, I'm actually gonna use the purple power that we used in the last video from degreasing the engine bay on these wheels. And we're gonna try that and see how that works. Let's try it out. As a before, a little shot of these wheels. So these are 16 inch wheels. Um, preferably if I did build a Cabrillo, I would wanna run 16 inch wheels again, maybe even 15s. Um, what is gonna be very hard is that it's a four lug pattern. So it's four by 100. Uh, you don't usually see many four by 100 wheels, but we're gonna see what we can do. But for now, we're just gonna clean, clean these up and make them a little bit better. Wow, you can already see it doing some magic. All right, we're just gonna let this sit and let's see how it goes in a couple minutes. So we did let the wheel sit for about five minutes and as you guys can see, the purple power went to work. I did not wash it, I did not add water, I didn't brush it or anything. This is just from applying and spraying the purple power on there. So I feel like if I really wanted to, go ahead and scrubbed it and used the hose, which I might do later in the video, depending how far I get with the Cabrillo. Um, let's just, just huge shout out to Purple Power. Um, you guys can get this from any store, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Walmart, but it's definitely worth your money's worth. This bottle's like only like five bucks, so. All right, so after doing the time lapse of taking everything out of the boxes, we have everything that we're going to need for the next couple hours, days, however long it takes us. But here is the paper from Rock Auto. Huge shout out to Rock Auto for everything. Um, we have everything from spark plugs, water pump, um, the belt protectors. We even go ahead and went ahead and bought brake pads, the brake kits, um, the timing components, timing belts and even the distributor. All right guys, so what we're currently doing now is putting the new timing belt in. We are on the crankshaft and the camshaft. We had the marked areas on there. That's why you kind of see the purple nail polish because we had lined them up with the marks on those and we we're putting the new timing belt on. Unfortunately, we cannot put the new timing belt pulley back on because down there we have the motor mount and, or, yeah, exactly the motor mount. So to take that pulley off, we would need to lift the motor and put that new one on. But we are not mechanics. Just because we're mechanically inclined does not mean we're mechanics. But huge shout out to the mad scientist working with me today. If it's not the homies, it's family. Um, so, to, like I said earlier with the markings, we have the purple nail polish. We counted 55 threads from purple to purple to line up with the timing belt. Hopefully we do not mess with the timing, but I definitely think we do have this one unlock the new timing belt is back on we have <laughs> tape holding the sprockets just because we did not want them to move and lose the timing but we definitely think it's back on um this was a 14 millimeter bolt we tightened that back up always remember to hand tighten you never want to strip it hand tighten before you use your wrench to sock it or anything like that but we think we did it right if we didn't we'll find out when we start time to start putting stuff back together um like i said we have all the covers like that for the timing belt and the belt protectors and stuff like that. This one 
teams match up pretty good. So we have the O team, OT, I don't know if it means original time or OEM time or what does it mean. But we're gonna put the new cover back on and then actually go from there. Boom. Gross. Go ahead and line the new one up. Boom, perfect. So right now what we're doing is tightening the five millimeter hex bolt on top of the belt protector. And also we're gonna put this cover back on the sprocket. And then over here you have the five millimeter bolt, or no, 10 millimeter bolt that's gonna go back right into there. So remember, 10's here, five's up there. So remember for the 1990 Volkswagen Cabriolet, this is a eight bolt water pump. And this is where your thermostat is gonna go into here. And then you're gonna have your two radiator hoses on the side and then two bolts for the thermostat. And then it's gonna go facing downwards. Before we go any farther, we are gonna add Loctite anti-seize to both the threads for the 10 millimeter bolt. What this does is when heat gets to metal, metal expands, and this will cause the threads to intertwine. So this anti-seize is gonna be more of like a hook. So if we ever needed to take these out again, that it's going to be an easy unscrew. So right now, before we put the water pump back in, we are putting red RTV right here. It's a gasket maker, and we're gonna put the gasket right back on top. Um, we did try just pre-installing it and seeing how the screws and everything are gonna line up, and the O-ring keeps falling out, so we're gonna put that in, and then hopefully it's gonna keep that sticking there, and we're gonna be good. And tighten these right here. And let's not forget that these are. Make sure that thread's good. And then these are gonna be the 13 millimeter bolts. All right, so we're at a good halfway point. Gonna give you guys kind of an update. We have the new timing belt and we did not, we were not able to put the pulley in, but we have the new timing belt in. The new water pump is in. We have the radiator hose and the flange hose from the block ready to go in. Um, we are putting the water pump bracket right back on right now. And then we have also the belt protector and then we have the new over here protector as well. All right, boys, so all three hose clamps are connected. The one from the radiator, the one to the thermostat, and even the top one from the flange. The water pump is in, the bracket is in. Now it is time to put in the uh, air conditioner compressor. Before we start messing with the air conditioner compressor cable, we did just install the air conditioner compressor. Um, that's where we had the eight millimeter hex bolts that enter through this side, and it does not have an out, so it just enters through here, and then through here, and then we have the hoses that are all connected down there, all ready to go, that's installed, and we're practically almost there. All right, so he's working on the pulleys down there with the crankshaft, I'm installing the alternator. We have the pulley for the alternator here. You have the bolt with the teeth here that rises or lowers your alternator. And then I have the wires down here color coded. We have our ground and there are two electric wires. All those are matched up. So I'm gonna tighten this up and then put the pulley cable back on and then tighten this and the alternator will be installed. All right guys, so we did just finish up. We do believe we are done. The alternator back is the alternator is back in. The hoses from the radiator, everything is put back in. The distributor caps put back on. The air conditioner compressor, the alternator, all those cables and pulleys are back together. Um, the battery is now tightened. We're gonna put antifreeze in there because last time in the last video you guys saw. Um, whether I drained it or it was leaking everywhere. So let's put antifreeze in there before we start the car back up. Fingers crossed though. Ooh, yummy. Let's see. Boom, it's gonna need a lot more though. Huge shout out to Starbucks. Moment of truth. Come on, come on. I haven't started this cup in Cup. I haven't started this car in like three, four weeks. Okay. Boom. So there we have it. Timing belts in, water pumps in, alternator, no leaks. 
Nothing. Wait. That may just be water. I don't think that's athletes. But I think we're good. All right, guys. So I did check out that minor spill. Um, it actually was coolant that I had accidentally dropped when I was filling it with antifreeze, the container with antifreeze. So it was just droplets and there was old residue leftover. They were good. We're good. Moral stories were good. So thank you guys for tuning into the series. If you guys did like the series, if you guys learned anything or anything like that, leave a comment down below. I do appreciate it. We do have a lot of work on this car. I do think that I might have a blown piston. Um, that's not really something I don't want to say competently, but if that's the case, that's either more content for you guys or I really got to decide what I'm going to do with this car. But there's no more leaking. Water pumps change. Everything's good to go. I do appreciate you guys. But as always, no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and always try to make a difference.